Hello and welcome back to another video. I am Angst Attack, but you can call me Katie. We're starting another portion of the second chapter in the first series of The Walking Dead. That is a mouthful. I need to stop saying it every time. Alright. You guys really have food? Sure do. We so lost most of the, the cattle, farm. but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. So you're vegetarians. Most it's nice days. to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Fuck yeah. You know, it seems like just yesterday I was You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, hmm. not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Um... You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Yeah. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh, I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. Okay, she liked that. How many people you got over there anyway? Fuck if I know. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, I don't need them knowing you guys exactly know. on Well, way. we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shut the fuck down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, and you know what? more. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh. The world out here has gone to shit. Yeah. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Wow. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like them. bugs in a zapper. Yeah. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with Ooh. generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, it is. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us I'd just fine. Compliment them. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Me, motherfucker. I mean, what? 
I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, wow. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's yeah. right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Wow. Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Huh, I like her. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before yeah. they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? <sighs> la, 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 la. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can yeah. to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy Check needs straight. some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Oh, now we're walking. What happens if we touch it? That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> uh, I am a shit starter. Okay, so we can't go any further that way. Oh, there's the Jenny. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Hmm. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Makes sense. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can well. clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the <laughs> hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. 
Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Well, fuck him. No. There's one. Ugh. Gross. Lee, it's dead. Uh. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better so. be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, Opie was already dead. Yeah. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. Let's shove him. Looks Don't wake like he's up. stuck. Looks like he's stuck. All right, so pushing some more doesn't help. Oh, it's probably through into the wood. Disgusting. Now let's see. Slump. Gross. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Yeah. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. <sighs> oh, come on! In what world does that happen? Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence right, burned so right into its hands. Thing. I think they fused together. If they're stuck together, this is not gonna go well. <clears throat> gross. <clears throat> Equally gross. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Yeah. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. <laughs> I think we'd get Crispy. better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> yeah, but we'll have to jump back over. He better not be alive. Yo, 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 yo. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Oh, Why the boy. hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <gasps> what the? Get to the gate. Shit. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence know. on, that gate is our only way out. Ah, fuck you, son. Do anything. 
The blades are stuck in the dirt. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Great, so I have to like use this as a shield. It's gonna get stuck on the zombie. Give it the food! What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. What? Can I lure you out the tractor? No. Now you're fucked! Did you really think you could fuck with us? Where do you think you're going? I already got one of you. Get closer. Right. We have Damn it again, really? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Not this many. Goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Uh, bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards oh, shit, in the you woods. Can see Mama. what happened yeah. to him. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey y'all! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh, no, honey. No. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Huh. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. <sighs> Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard uh -huh. to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Alright, sounds like a Pandits? Are dumb you plan, serious? but okay. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take mm. this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, know, Rambo. Look. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before <laughs> we eat. Jackass. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's uh -huh. real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hmm. Hope your kids like swings. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Uh, you're trying. 
Alright. Well, we are going to wrap the episode here, because we're at about 20 minutes. And we'll go check out that camp the next episode. So, like, comment, and share as you please, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.